The MBTA releases new surveillance video of the moment a train derailed on the red line last month. That accident forced detours and delayed service for days. And in fact, service won't be fully restored until mid-August. The T is racing to get everything back on track. But as Julie McDonald tells us, frustrated passengers are fed up. Well, fortunately, no one was hurt during that derailment, but it caused a lot of damage to a signal system building. Since then, the MBTA has worked seven days a week to try and get things back to normal, which some riders say still isn't good enough. This newly released surveillance video shows the moment commutes became even worse for riders on the red line. Sparks flew June 11th as train cars came off the tracks near the JFK UMass station. From this angle, waiting riders don't even seem to notice. What they have noticed is how bad it's gotten since. I'm very like frustrated and like exhausted from it, but hopefully everything will be back to normal. A sentiment shared by many, the MBTA's monthly rider poll now shows its lowest approval rating since the feature launched. More than half of riders last month said they're somewhat, very, or extremely dissatisfied with the T. After we get to a certain point, like you have to wait like three minutes at each station before it goes. So I leave like two hours early instead of like an hour earlier. The MBTA did announce Friday it hopes to have service running at full speed between Broadway and JFK UMass by August 15th. Those who depend on the red line left hoping for the best. Yeah, I guess it's annoying, but like, I don't know what, what other options they have. And the MBTA still hasn't determined what caused the derailment, though they have ruled out human error. In Dorchester, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.